I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2020 Salem Cruise Light 230BHXL. This is a great floor plan. It's not too terribly heavy, and you have a slide-out U-dinette, which really helps open up this main living space, which is perfect when you have little ones that are running around. And seeing as how this is a bunk model, chances are you will probably have those little ones. Also, you have a secondary seating area thanks to the Murphy bed up front, and it is pretty easy to set up. I will show you that in just a moment. Let's start off though on the kitchen because this is where you'll be doing the majority of your cooking and you want to make sure it's going to work and be functional for you. One of the things I really do like is the fact they gave you this uh, countertop extension. This is very crucial in a smaller RV like this. When you don't have a ton of countertop space, that extension is really where you're going to gain a lot. The thing I do like about it though is the fact you have the double bowl sink and the three burner cooktop. You have the roll up drying rack here so you can use this as prep space as well and obviously to dry dishes. Double bowl sink, high rise faucet, two electrical outlets so plenty of places to plug in your blender, coffee maker, whatever else. Just bear in mind, you're probably going to want something smaller because you don't have a ton of countertop space to set it. Or you'll have to pop up that extension, put it on there, you know, plug it in when you need it. Over to the side is that three burner cooktop. This one, again, is recessed with the glass cover, so you can utilize that as prep space. This folds up and back just like so, doubles as a backsplash. It is the Furion cooktop, which means our knobs light up. You will also see the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Down underneath the sink, you have two full extension ball bearing drawers. They are quite long, plenty of room for flatware, whatever else you need to put in there. A little bit of storage down there, not enough for a trash can, but you know, maybe some pots and pans hang out down there. And up top, you have additional storage here, built-in shelf. You have the glass panel inserts, a frosted glass, which helps to break up the wood look a little bit. You'll also notice the Furion microwave and the hood. They're very modern, streamlined, stainless steel look to them there. The hood, of course, does have both a light and a fan. Pretty bright light there as well. You can see that, so it does help, um, you know, when you are cooking, helps give uh, light. <laughs> Over next to that is the Everchill refrigerator. I personally really like these. They're 12 volt compressor driven refrigerators. Uh, if you have two deep cycle batteries and solar, you can run these almost continuously, which is fantastic. Stainless steel looking panels on here, easy travel lock. So that way, you know, things aren't coming out as you're going down the road. When we open that up, you take a look inside. Freezer compartment right up top, refrigerator right down below. The two shelves are obviously very adjustable. And then you have the crisper, tra uh, crisper drawer down below and you can adjust the vent there so you can kind of control the humidity. Over to the side is what you were hoping and that is a big pantry. So plenty of space here. Um, this can be a versatile space. I personally would probably use at least one of these shelves for the kids' clothes, but uh, you know maybe all of them. I don't know, but you know I'd, I'd, I'd probably save one at least for the pantry, just because you need a spot for you know your pots, pans, a lot of your other foodstuffs. But either way, that is a great big storage space. In the very back is the bathroom. Not a super wide opening here. You know, I, I, as you can see, I can't really go in this way. You have to do like a little sideways shimmy. But once you're inside, there is a decent amount of space. I'll sit down here on the toilet, foot flush lever toilet. My shoulder does rub a little bit on the left, but it, it is definitely manageable. You know, my toes touch the tub again, but nothing too bad. Over to the side is a cubby hole, a little bit of storage underneath as well as plumbing access, sink top, good extra countertop space over to the side. I certainly do enjoy that. Electrical outlet there, mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. And over to the side is the tub shower. So let me take a step in here just to kind of give you an idea of the space. So I am six foot, as you can see, especially with that skylight, I have a little bit extra space. Even if you're 6'2", you might be able to stand in here without having to bend down, which is great. Certainly 6'1", you can, no problem. And because you have a tub, if you need to give kids a bath, you can. It is a center drain, which I don't super care for just because, you know, you tend to step there. And so, you know, when this is kind of sitting like so, it just kind of gets in the way. You kind of step on it a couple times. I'd prefer it if it was a, a standard front drain, but not a huge deal. Again, something you can easily overcome. Over to this side are your two bunks. The thing I do like about this is that both of them have USB ports. So if you have a rainy day and the kids want to play on their electronics, they're not fighting over who get you know who gets which bunk. Uh, they both have that access as well as LED lights. 
thermostat here on the wall. Now this is only for your uh, furnace. The AC has the controls on the AC itself. It is ceiling mounted. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Right around the corner is where your TV will be located. So you'll see there's a backer in the wall, connections over to the side. This little light switch actually controls your secondary lighting right here above the slide. See, I can turn it off if you want, but it just creates some extra light. You know, it's great if you're leaving for the night, you know, going to someone's campfire, a couple campsites down. You can just leave that on, come back in. It gives you enough to move around, but you don't have all your lights on. Storage right up top, multimedia center right down below. This is Bluetooth capable there too. And then in the slide out, as I mentioned, is the U-shaped dinette. Now, a couple things I like about this. One is the fact that there is plenty of room for four people to comfortably sit. You can eat a meal together, play a game together, which is fantastic, especially, you know, it gives you a, it gives a time when the kids are out riding bikes, you're talking to friends. It's when everyone can kind of come together and eat. I really enjoy eating outside when I'm camping, but you know, if it's nasty outside, it's raining, whatever, this gives you a spot you can enjoy inside. Also, if you have additional guests that need to stay the night, this U-shaped dinette does drop down into a bed where two adults can comfortably sleep, which is fantastic. Uh, and if you want to you know, watch TV, if there's two of you, you can actually drop the table down, put the cushions on it, you can put some like pillows on the back, and both just kind of put your feet up and kick back and relax to be able to watch the TV, it just makes it kind of nice. You will also see windows all the way around to let in plenty of natural light during the day. They are the, the blackout roller shades, so if you want to sleep in, it'll help keep some of that light out too, and the roller shades work very well. If we take a look toward the front, so this is a point of contention for a lot of people, and that is the Murphy bed. Um, the thing I like about a Murphy bed is the fact that this right here, right, the fact that you get an extra seating space, you get the sofa. So again, if you want to watch TV sitting right here, it's a little far for me, but it's definitely still manageable. Plus it's just a spot, you know, more people can sit and hang out, which is great. You have nightstands on both sides or end tables if it's a couch, right? Um, you'll see the electrical outlets as well as dual USB ports so you can plug in cell phones, whatever else you need to plug in. You'll also see on both sides, you have mirrored wardrobes. So that way if you need to hang clothes, you can. And underneath, there is storage as well. And you will see that shares the same access as the pass-through storage. Now for the Murphy bed itself. Removable armrests. This is a jackknife sofa on the boat, uh, bottom, or a jiffy sofa, depending on uh, you know who, who you're talking to. Right underneath, again, you have that big storage area. Jackknife sofa folds down just like so. Then for the bed, you have the two locks. The one is already undone. Just undo the lock on this side here, and just like that, you will see the bed folds right down. Notice how it is one solid piece. That's a big thing when it comes to uh, when it comes to Murphy beds. I know a big point of contention for a lot of people is the fact it's a foldable mattress in many of them, and it can be a pain to fold out. You have to make it every time. With this, you make the bed, you leave it, you drop it down, you're good to go. You will also see the shelf across the top in case. Uh, you, you uh, want to store some items up there and to put it back up it's pretty easy for that as well you'll see you have this you can pull this that will actually unlatch it because it locks in place so pull that to unlock it put it right back up lock it back in place fold the sofa up and just like that you're ready for the day now that we've seen the inside let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Salem Cruise Light 230 BHXL Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it easier to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. So all I have to do is flip this rocker switch to raise and lower the tongue. And you'll see you have a little light at night for added visibility. You'll also see that there is a manual override in the rare event that the motor fails. Directly behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. And a little bit further back are rails here for your battery. You will also see down there that red knob. That is a battery disconnect, which is fantastic because that way when you're done camping, you can just flip that knob and it will kill all the power to the RV so you don't have that continuous drain on the battery. Coming up the front is diamond plating, helping to protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by the tow vehicle. And up above that, you will see the smooth aluminum paneling. I personally prefer having the smooth panel on the front because this is where the majority of your bug splatters will be from your travels and the smooth aluminum is easier to clean than the rib. 
Coming around to the side, you will see solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it'll trickle charge your battery. And a little bit further down, this is your pass-through. It is magnetic, so you can put it up just like that, which is great. Because when the kids come out and they you know, go to shove it down, there's not going to be any plastic clips or anything that are going to snap off. You don't have to worry about it. You put it up, they can slam it shut all day long. When you take a look inside, you will see the pass-through storage. Again, as I showed, this is that access from inside. You have the same thing on the other side. Because it is this style of Murphy bed, it, you, know, you don't have a ton of height in here, but the fact that you get as much storage as you do is fantastic for having a Murphy bed. You will also see the power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in, and it has the LED light strip for light at night. One entrance into this RV and that's all you need. It's certainly not a huge one, but uh, you'll see the, this one does have the solid step system, which is great. You know, I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can kind of bounce on this. The steps hardly flex. You don't get that springboard effect. Aluminum treads, which aren't gonna rust. Grip tape on there, so if it's wet, you have traction. And a smaller grab handle, which in all reality, you don't really need the big foldable one because it's only a two-step system. So even from that first step, I can uh, fairly reliably reach that grab handle. Two outside speakers, those are connected to that multimedia center inside. That unit is Bluetooth capable, so you can be out here and somewhat control it. You will also notice your fresh tank fill. If you're going somewhere, you don't have city water, you wanna make sure you fill the fresh tank, that'll be the place to do it. Electrical outlet right out here. And as we make our way back a little bit further, if we drop down, I do wanna show you this. So one of the things that are really cool about this one, it just has your standard scissor jacks for your uh, stabilizer jacks, but what you'll notice is this one comes with the JT strong arms. And folks, these make a huge difference when you're talking about stabilizing your RV. If, you know, you, if you've been in an RV before and you put down your jacks and it's still wobbling around, you know, go, go to the lot, put the JT strong arms, actually set them up, walk around in there and notice the difference because I guarantee you will. You'll also see the square tubular bumper on here, uh, which gives you the, it has the end cap, so it gives you a place to store your sewer hose, which is great. If you have city water, this is where you'll hook it up at. You'll also see your cable and satellite inlets are located there. And if you take a look up top, this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, I mean, the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Not only did you have that pass-through storage, I know I said it wasn't huge, but take a look at this. Underneath that bunk, you have additional storage, which helps make up for it, which is great. And right down underneath this is your termination. You will see both your black and gray tank valves located there. Lastly, your 30 amp power cord is just tucked away right there. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Salem Cruise Light 230 BHXL. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.